Now, tulad ng Pythagorean theorem na kung saan yung uh, formula na yun ay mag-work lang sa mga right angles or triangle na mayroong right angles, ang law of sines ay may limitation din. At kapag ka nangyari yun, gagamitan natin siya ng law of cosine. So, ang law of cosine na gagamitin natin for the triangles na we're going to be solving will be these sets of formulas. So, meron tayong set ng formulas para sa mga missing sides at mga missing angles. Now, sa pag-solve ng law of cosine, kailangan nyo uli ng calculator at kailangan din na yung calculator nyo eh, nasa degree mode at also kailangan yung pagsulat nyo or pag-sketch nyo ng mga triangles will be corresponding. So, ito yung una natin example para sa law of um, cosine. So, we are given side A, side B, and side C. So, mapapansin nyo dito sa problem na to wala tayong given angle. At kapag ka ang condition nyo or ang situation nyo ay walang uh, given angle, law of cosine ang gagamitin nyo. So, ang first step nyo is to observe which one is or which side has the longest side doon sa mga given sides at doon kayo mag-uumpisa. At dito, ang pinakamahaba natin is C or side C. So, gagamitan natin siya ng formula for a missing angle which is cosine C equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB. At sa paggamit itong formula, madali lang yan kasi substitution lang yung kailangan yung gawin. So, i-substitute nyo yung value ng A, B, and C sa cosine C and you'll have negative 44 over 96. Now, cosine C pa rin siya. So, to get the value of the angle for cosine C, gagamitan nyo siya ng scientific calculator. Just press sine inverse kasi kailangan nyo matanggal si cosine dun sa both sides. So, sine inverse lang yung uh, magagamit nyo para matanggal yun. So, sine inverse negative 44 over 96 will give you 117.3 degrees. At ito yung missing angle na kung saan nahanap natin siya dahil sa longest side nitong triangle nyo. So, sa second step naman, ang gagawin ko naman, since meron na akong giving angle, pwede ko nang gamitan ulit ang law of sine. Now, pwede mang gamitin na lang natin yung law of cosine sa lahat ng mga missing angles? And the answer is yes. However, since mas comfortable ako sa paggamit ng sine law, gagamitan ko siya ng sine law as opposed to using the cosine law once again. So, using the sine law, since meron na akong um, angle C, magagamit ko na siya kasi meron akong side C at meron akong angle C. So, ang kailangan ko na lang hanapin is C either angle A or angle B. And in this case, I'm looking for B or angle B. So, meron tayong complete set ng C which is 12 over sine and 117.3 degrees. At meron akong B over sine B, wherein sine B is missing, so I have 8 over sine B. And by cross multiplication, I need to have sine B by itself, so sine B will be here, tapos yung 12, dito sa denominator, at yung sine 117.3 degrees will be right next to 8. So I have sine B is equal to 8 times sine 117.3 degrees all over 12. And using the scientific calculator, just press sine inverse nang kung ano man yung value na makukuha nyo dito para makuha nyo si angle B. At ang angle B nyo ngayon is 26.4. So, malapit na natin makompleto yung mga missing parts. Kailangan na lang natin yung last angle. So, ito uli yung uh, triangle, na, triangle na binigay sa atin at yung mga angles and sides na kailangan nating hanapin. At yung huli kong part na kailangan mahanap is yung angle A, which is the easiest part to find. So all I have to do is to subtract the sum of angle C and angle B from 180 degrees para makuha ko si angle A. So pag nangyari yun, ang angle A ko is 36.3, completing all the parts of the oblique triangles that we are looking for. So meron tayong, inorganize ko yung mga values ko dito. Ito yung mga angles. I have angle A, B, and C at meron na akong mga sides na nakompleto rin dahil ito yung given will be A, side A, side B, and side C. Sa second example ko naman, meron na akong given angle, isa lang, at meron na akong two sides which is side C and side A. Kapag ka din rowing ko or in-sketch ko yung graph ko, ito yung mga given parts at ito yung mga missing parts. And by the law of cosine, mahanap ko yung mga missing parts na yan starting with side B. So to find side B para maka 
gamit ko yung sign law mamaya, gagamitan ko siya ng formula which is b squared equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac times cosine b. And using substitution, just plug in all the values ng mga given dito sa formula at meron kang b squared is equal to this expression. And by using the calculator, simplifying it, and you'll have b squared is equal to 98.20. Now, hindi pa yan yung b nyo kasi meron ka pang exponent. And by algebra, to get rid of the exponent 2, you just need to take the square root of both sides. Kaya ang side b nyo is equal to 9.9. .9. So ngayon, hanap na natin sa side b. Kailangan na lang natin hanapin yung dalawa pang natitirang missing parts. So, in this case, the second step, gagamitan ko na ulit yun ng sign law kasi meron na akong complete set ng fraction which is B and B at hahanapan ko na lang si C or si A. So, in this case, I'm looking for A. So, I have B over sine B equals A over sine A. And by cross multiplication, I'll be able to have sine A by itself. So, sine A nandito siya. Tapos, si 9.9 .9, mapupunta sa ilalim. At si sine 75 degrees mapupunta siya sa siya with 6.2 using cross multiplication and by using the calculator and make sure your calculator is in degree mode a will give you 37.2 degrees so once again pag ginamitan mo to ng calculator ang lalabas dito will be um, some decimal values at hindi pa yun yung angle nyo and to find the angle just press second function sign which is sine inverse tapos kung ano man yung value na to kaya magkakaroon ka ng 37.2 degrees so meron na tayong dalawang parts ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung last missing part which is yung angle C and to find angle C madali na lang yan kasi gagamitan nyo na lang siya nung triangle law so 180 minus the sum of the given angle so C or angle C will be 67.8 degrees completing our missing parts doon sa oblique triangles natin so ito yung summary ng mga parts na nahanap natin for angles and for the sides